Welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today we're going to share how to apply filters in Excel 2013. Applying filters can be very helpful when sorting through data, whether small or large. Let's say you have a list here of recent registrants for the 365 Ninja Outlook add-in and you're hosting a meeting to talk more about it. So there's many reasons why you might use filters. One reason might be to take a look at when everyone registered for the event and to see which one signed up early and qualify for an early bird discount. So to apply the filter, I'm going to highlight the row of headers right here. I'll select sort and filter and click filter. Now you'll see that these gray boxes have appeared in the corner of each cell. So I want to sort by registration date and see who signed up the earliest. So I'll click this here and have the drop down menu and I'll select Sort Oldest to Newest. Now I can see the order in which people registered. So I know that Sweet Charity and Alan Applegate all qualify for the early bird discount. Because if you registered before November 7th, you automatically got the 20% discount. Now here's another situation. Let's say you need to see how many people are dialing into the meeting as opposed to how many are attending in person. We'll go to Location, click the drop down menu here, and you'll see here, these are all the options listed within this column. There's only two, dialing in or in person. I'm going to unclick the select all, and what I need to know is how many people are dialing in. I'll select OK. And you'll see that the other cells disappeared because I only want to see how many are dialing in. And what's even more helpful, you don't have to count. Check out this ticker down here that spells it out for you. So now I know there's only 14 dialing in for the meeting, which means 16 will be attending in person. Thanks for joining 365 Ninja for today's tip. I hope you found it helpful, and if you have any more questions, please visit 365ninja.com.